Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Design News. In today's episode of Design News, we're looking at a new 3D software for UI designers like you and I. A brand new set of tools to create AR and VR experiences like this. And also an amazing new way to animate in Figma. Yes, and more, more Figma news. So without further ado, let's just get started with today's design news. To begin with, Shopify has come up with a brand new article. This article actually entails all the important things necessary to create an effective product. If you go through this article, it has very important points that you as a product designer or a UX UI designer need to know before moving on with your career. It takes examples of some amazingly well-designed applications and websites and tells you what is right about it and what are the things you should do as a designer as well. Boop, boop. Now, Boop is a article or a uh, tutorial which has been written by none other than Josh Comio, who is uh, well known in the React JS community. Now, he's written a lot about how you can create uh, amazing animations with React JS for your applications. Apart from that, he's also given a lot of cool theories. He's compared real life animations, things that we see in our daily lives to animations that we can portray on the screen. So if you want to get better at interaction design or get, a, get better at animating uh, micro interactions or animations inside applications and websites, this is a great resource for you to check out and it's free. So go ahead and check out this resource. He also has a lot of code. So if you want to always copy this code into your application, you can do that. As well. Spline is a 3D application based on the browser the launch date of this software is tomorrow, 1st of December. So if it is 1st of December 2020, then this is the tool which is hot. You can design 3D web experiences as well as app experiences with this tool. And you don't need any knowledge of 3D tools like Blender or Cinema 4D. Even if you're a UI designer like you and I, we can do it too. They say it is a 2D approach to a 3D design tool, which I think is very true by the video, by the trailer, by the website itself. You can even import 3D models if you've already worked on them or from somewhere else. Uh, if you find something on Blender Guru, you can always make that in this as well. And also you can import everything that you could do in tools like Blender or Cinema 4D on the web and for free. Flow, beautiful animations made easy. Now Flow allows you to import Figma, Sketch and Adobe XD into their tool and then animate it. It is very similar to After Effects but it is much easier to understand since it's made for UI designers in mind. It also has Auto Animate or Smart Animate. So if you aren't uh, keen on learning proper animation with this tool, you can always use their Smart Animate or Auto Animate feature much like you did in XD or Figma and you can still make basic animations in micro interactions. The sweet spot, the sweet thing about this is that you can export these animations as code. Yes, you heard that right. You can export it as a Lottie file, so for web and uh, your native apps, or you can export it for Android, iOS individually, or in the form of CSS and JavaScript. So you have so many options to export these animations. For those who asked me, hey, how do we export this for development or for an actual application? Well, the developer doesn't have to do much now because these tools will help you animate in Figma and then export it as code or JSON file. XR Tools, yes. This is the tool set which will get you started with designing for AR and VR. Now, this tool set is completely web-based, so you don't have to download any tool. And it's free. You can create these amazing uh, 3D models and then try them out in a VR and AR environment. It is also compatible with Figma. So if you're a Figma user, you want to incorporate VR and AR into your application, this has you covered. It has all these tools in one place. You click on any one of these options and you get into the tool inside their website. Again, no hassle of downloading any software or tool. You can even convert your 3D objects like from OBJ or from from Blender or Cinema 4D into actual objects ready to export for uh, you know the AR experiences in iOS. So if you're into that or if you're interested in that, then you can all obviously go to this tool. Now, one of you guys tweeted at me on Twitter, uh, actually sent me a DM on Twitter. I checked it out 
and one of you guys has created an amazing tool set for designers like you and I. It's called getloaf.io. Now this is a uh, somewhat free tool which allows you to animate SVG icons. So animations are already there. You can always edit those animations, these cool SVG animations and export them as uh, GIFs, MP4s and Lotties into your uh, libraries or into your application. Compatible with both macOS and Windows, it doesn't leave anybody out. So that was it for design news. Episode 9, we're reaching so close to episode 10. If you want to uh, be involved in design news, if you want to share cool new resources for me to share on this channel, then go ahead to my Discord. Join my Discord, I'll have a link in the description, it's free. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel for weekly updates like this. Every Monday and Thursday, I post some amazing content. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. It's free of cost again. See you next time, same place, same time. Till then, God bless.